Anal cancer happens when normal cells lining the anus change into abnormal cells and grow out of control. The anus is the last part of the digestive tract, where bowel movements leave the body. Anal cancer does not always cause symptoms at first. People who do have symptoms can have bleeding from their anus, pain in or around their anus, a growth in their anus and itching in their anus. All of these symptoms can also be caused by conditions that are not cancer. But if you have these symptoms, tell your doctor or nurse. Yes. To check for anal cancer, your doctor or nurse will look at your anus and do a digital rectal exam. During a digital rectal exam, your doctor or nurse will put a gloved finger into your anus and lower rectum to feel for abnormal growths. They might do one or more of the following tests. Anoscopy. During an anoscopy, the doctor puts a short tube with a light on the end, called an anoscope, into your anus and rectum. They will use the anoscope to look for abnormal areas or growths. And the second test is a biopsy. A doctor can remove a small sample of tissue from the anus. Another doctor will look at the sample under a microscope to see if it is cancer. Doctors sometimes find cells in the anus that are not cancer, but are abnormal and have a high chance of turning into cancer. Your doctor can treat these precancer cells in different ways. They might remove them to help keep them from turning into cancer. Or they might watch them closely over time. Cancer staging is a way in which doctors find out if a cancer has spread past the layer of tissue where it began and, if so, how far. The right treatment for you will depend on the stage of your anal cancer, and your other medical problems. Most people with anal cancer are treated with both, radiation therapy which kills cancer cells or, chemotherapy which is the medical term for medicines that kill cancer cells or stop them from growing. Anal cancer is sometimes treated with surgery to remove the cancer. But most people don't need surgery. People do not need surgery if their cancer gets better after chemotherapy and radiation. After treatment, you will be checked every so often to see if the cancer comes back. Regular follow-up tests include exams, including digital rectal exams, and anoscopy. Some people also have follow-up imaging tests. Imaging tests can create pictures of the inside of your body. You should also watch for the symptoms listed above. Having those symptoms could mean the cancer has come back. Tell your doctor or nurse if you have any symptoms. If the cancer comes back or spreads, you might need surgery or more chemotherapy. It is important to follow all your doctor's instructions about visits and tests. It's also important to talk to your doctor about any side effects or problems you have during treatment. Getting treated for anal cancer involves making many choices, such as what treatment to have. Always let your doctors and nurses know how you feel about a treatment. Anytime you are offered a treatment, ask. What are the benefits of this treatment? Is it likely to help me live longer? Will it reduce or prevent symptoms? What are the downsides to this treatment? Are there other options besides this treatment? What happens if I do not have this treatment? Thank you for watching and see you next time.